Hello class, it's Javaz, better known as Vaz Unique, here on my YouTube channel. The media that I picked for the discussion is Scarface. It was a movie that was released in December 9th, 1983. Um, I didn't get to watch it until like I was like 10 or 11 years old. But I remember we had just moved to Vallejo and um, we had this Betamax. It was a Betamax back then, not VHS, Betamax, Google it. <laughs> and we were watching it in the living room. My dad was laid out on the couch, it was his day off. And he called me in to put the movie in. You know, my father's one of those guys that the remote was two steps away. On his day off, he's still going to call you in to grab the remote and bring it to him. But he called me in, and he, you know, to put the movie in, put the movie in. He said, I can stay and watch the movie with him. So I laid down on the other side of the coffee table on my stomach with my hands underneath my chin and my elbows digging in the carpet. And <laughs> I remember feeling emotional because I was like, ah, oh, yeah, my dad is about to let me watch this movie. You know, it was like my, a big boy movie, you know, Scarface, you know, you know, people shooting the drug dealer and everything, right? You know, so, but my dad was a man's man, you know, ex-Marine, ex you know, Vietnam, Korea, and Cuba. So, you know, so I felt like I was getting older. So the movie itself was great, you know, it was filled with action, twist. Uh, moral situations, great dialogue, sitting on Miami Beach in the 80s, beaches, disco nights, stylish clothes, homes, cars, bonding with your friends, as well as the conflict and, and, and how it was handled and, uh, you know, what he went through to advance in his circle. Although the majority of the people only saw a drug deal, I saw a normal man, you know, who wanted something more out of life, you know, more than what he was given in the hand that he was dealt. He was a refugee from a third world country that wanted to gain citizenship and come to the states where his family was already at, which was his mom and sister. You know, once he got into the states, he worked for a food truck, networked his way up. You know, that took drive, perseverance, and given the chance being born into a different environment, who knows what he could have been. He could have been like a great leader. I saw a man who just wanted to make his mother proud and provide a better life for his sister. You know, kind of like a father figure, not the life that he lived, but even though he makes money negative way he wanted to use that to help his family in a positive way so I saw a hero that did what he had to do to live his life because he wanted to live in comfort and provide one a comfortable life for his family you know no one wants to suffer you know no one wants to struggle their whole life that's universal like every story you know a kingdom rises and it falls you know it was a hit order he didn't want to do the hit because the guy was riding around with his kids in the car so long story short, he didn't do it, so they put a hit out on him. Once the hit out was put out on him, of course they got him and, and you know, he died and I cried. And I remember my, my dad shocking me with his deep voice because I forgot he was behind me. He's like, hey, what's the matter with you? And I turn around and he can see the, the, me crying, the tears coming down my cheeks. And he says, oh, what, you didn't want him to die? And I was like, nah, he said, I didn't want him to die either. You know, but then he explained to me the consequences of the choices that we make in life you know whether they're good or bad or even though you know sometimes he said you know the road to hell is built on good attention sometimes we cut corners to try to do the right thing but they all still have consequences and that was something that you know that he really made me made me understand you know and that's why this media was one of my favorites because I, you know it was one of those times one of the moments that I got to spend with my dad and, you know, that was not getting scalded or yelled at or, or told to do something. And that we were bonding and teaching me something. And, you know, that's something that I can take with me for the rest of my life. So I believe that's what movies do. Movies entertain, but they also bring families together. Like somebody can be doing homework, somebody can be outside. And then we can all call everybody in when it's like a movie coming up. So I hope you enjoyed my discussion, and there will be more to come. All right, see you all later.